teaching and praise and allowing Lord, 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 God said, let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created the man in his own image, in the image of God, he created him, male and female, he created them. And God blessed them. And God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the heavens, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. Psalm 8, 46. Psalm asks, what is man that you are mindful of him, and the son of man that you care for him. Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings, and crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. May the Lord have a blessing to read. The readers and the hearers and doers of Christ before the divine word may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I want to talk about ignorant king. Ignorant king. Ignorant. Thank you. 
the information accepted from trusted authorities and consistent labels. In other words, you believe you are who and what you are because of what the people or institutions you trusted and or held in authority told you. You believe you are who you are because of what your mama told you. What your school principal told you. What your teacher told you. Even what the bully down the street told you. You are, or you believe you are who you are because of what most people and most institutions that you trusted told you, even the church, That's right. play. even the society. Play. I have in most cases, the people who have authority over you and the institutions you trusted and the preponderance of popular opinion always inform you of who and what you are in a manner that was always to their advantage. That's right. That's right. In other words, they, they didn't always tell you the truth about your identity or position. They, they, they often suggested an identity and a position that would most certainly guarantee uh, the continuance of their advantage and authority over you. Never expect the slave master to be honest with the slave. Y'all miss that. Never expect the slave master. Be honest with the slave. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's dealing with the true identity of the slave. Mm -hmm. Now, before you get angry with mom and me, <coughs> and people who have authority over you, I don't want you to get angry with them for their misidentification. Because I think you need to know that they really didn't set out to take advantage of you. They just did to you what was done to them. Uh, we, we live in a time now where, you know, folk of, you know, psychology and stuff, you know, you know you go, Psychiatrist can go in the couch, you know, blame your parents, blame your mom. But you know, when you were born, they didn't have a manual. That's right. The manual was coming and said, This is how you raise a child. Uh, they, 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 they raised you the best they could. <laughs> and, and, and they did, uh, uh, you know, they, 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 they did do what they had. So don't blame them, because uh, they, they, only, they only did what was passed down to them. Right. And, and, and why are you so quick to blame them? You know the same thing you do your children. Amen. 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 Uh, and, and sometimes it's even worse because uh, you say, well, hang on. Mm -hmm. My mom was so strict on me. I ain't going to be strict on my children. That's why you can't tell them that. That's why you couldn't run your mama's house with your kids around your house. Hello. Preach, preach. So they just, they just, they just did to see what was done to them. And, and, and the ones who did it to them were just doing what was always done to them. And in fact, it goes back, so far back, that for generations and generations, most people 
had to live and die without ever really knowing their true identity or position in the world. Amen. Now, I'm not going to make this a long, drawn out mystery or guessing game. I'm not going to drag it out. I'm going to tell you right now who and what you are. You are a king. It doesn't matter what ethnic, racial, gender, national, or religious label you have accepted. The truth is, you are a king. You are a king because you were created by the king of kings. All right, all right. To be a king. Thank you, Lord. You were created to rule, to dominate, and to have dominion. All right, all right. That's why we we have a problem with folks telling us what to do. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen. That, that's, that's, that's the king DNA. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you, you gotta have a channel. But that's the king DNA. See, you were created to rule, to dominate, and to have dominion. The text of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28, and, and those of you who know me, you know this 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 verse, I, I this this passage is the cornerstone. I think this passage is the cornerstone of all you are. Yeah, right. uh, uh, people, people don't talk about it, but 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 but, 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 but Genesis 1 26 to 28, it, it's a month of sermons in that one that passage is a, a year-long sermon because because it's it's the cornerstone. It's fundamental, it's basic. So let us read it. So then God said, let us make man in our image and for our likeness. And let them have dominion for the fish of the sea, over the birds, and the beasts, over the livestock, over all the earth, over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of male, he created them, him. Male. And female. Right. So female do kings too. Amen. 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 I heard I heard years ago uh, uh, somebody preaching his passage for a men's day or something. <laughs> and I said, oh, you, you missed the point. Sure. <laughs> it, it's not it's not gender specific. It's it's species specific. It's, right. it's about humanity. He created them male and female, both of them to have to and God said, to them, be fruitful. By the way, male can't be fruitful by themselves. Amen. <laughs> Females can't be fruitful by themselves. All right, all right. Thank you, we live in a world that is full of gender confusion. Amen. Amen. You know, you know, and you tell the truth, tell folk the truth now, you think you're being hateful. That's right. That's right. Preach. Yes. But, but that was the reason why he made it. Male and female. That's so, right. Because if there were no male and female, all these folks who wanted to be something else wouldn't be anything at all. That's right. right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it is. Yeah. Be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth. So do it. Have a dominion of efficiency or reverse that for every living thing that moves on the earth. Now, I'm not going to. I'm not going to execute this text completely because it's so rich and so full that certainly the devil will take all our preaching time. But let me just let this allow me to extrapolate this one point. Notice God said, let them have dominion. Yeah, yeah. 
Now, at this point, you might need to hold on to your theological hats. Because I'm, going about, I'm about to suggest something that might just topple your theological house of cards. If God said, let them have the meaning over the earth, then that means God doesn't have the meaning over the earth. That's right. That's right. It's a very simple statement. In Hebrew and in English, if I let you have my keys, then that means I no longer have my keys. That's true. Mm -hmm. Simple, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If I give you my keys, then as, 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 as my little cousin would say, I ain't got my keys. I ain't got no more. I ain't got no more. So, so, they're my keys, but I've given them to you. Therefore, whatever happens with or to the keys is not my responsibility. But rather, it's yours. Because you have Our world is in a terrible shape. Yes, yes, yes. Because ignorant kings have the meaning. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. I get it. Yes, sir. The word dominion is related to the word domain. I look at the word domain, and one of the definitions is a territory over which dominion is exercised. Listen, religion has always taught us <clears throat> to pray to God to fix the world. Mm -hmm. But God gave the world to us. That's right, that's right. This world is our domain. Amen. Therefore, all that occur on a daily basis around the world, all of that is our responsibility. Amen, amen, amen. Now, now, I have looked at this passage most of my life. But it wasn't until the last 15 years or so that I really began to grasp the implications. I, I realized then that, that, that many times in our prayers, we have just been talking to ourselves. Uh, all right. Look at God in here. All right. You know, you, Lord, go by the hospital mm -hmm. and see about Sister Jane. He ain't going. That's right. If, if, if God went to the hospital to see Sister Jane, Sister Jane died. That's right. A fright to see God. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But God ain't going. Amen. So you might as well be praying that prayer. All right. Pre God ain't going because he gave you the responsibility to go. That's right. That's right. Amen. God's spirit. Yes, he is. Can I tell you something? You know, we, we've been we've been watching TV too much. <laughs> we've been watching TV too much. God is spirit, and we live in a material world. And let me share with you how spirits operate in a material world. Spirits do not have the capacity to function concretely in a material world. All right. 
So what the Spirit did to God's Spirit, Satan is also Spirit. What spirits do is spirits will influence human spirits that are housed in material bodies mm -hmm. to do their bid. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes, sir. See, I laugh at people who say, well, you know, I'm not a spiritual person. <laughs> I laugh at that because you're spirit. You are a spirit living in a physical body. That's right. That's right. So I think I'm not a spiritual person when, when spirit is part of the essence of who you are. Mm -hmm. And it's your spirit that communes with God's spirit or the other spirits. Mm -hmm. Because there are other spirits. That's right, that's right. Hmm? Mm -hmm. And those spirits influence your spirit, and your spirit influences your mind and your feelings, which influence your actions. All right. So, we pray to God. To do what God gave us the authority and the dominion to do. Now, God is not like some of us. That's right. God is not a micro manager. All right, all right. God will not tell you to do something and then do it for you. Amen. You, you know how why would you shut that? Some of you got people out there on your job. Oh, yeah. You'll see a He's a micromanager. He tells you, he tells you to do something, then he does it. That's right. <laughs> and then you get that. Well, what you tell me to do? You know, God is not a micromanager. God will not do what he's given us the responsibility to do. All right, all right. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Amen. Therefore, one of the reasons the world is not getting any better is because we have been expecting God to do what God has been expecting us to do. All right. All right. God, bring peace in Israel. <coughs> no. Mm -hmm. Israel needs to bring peace in Israel. That's right. The Palestinians need to bring peace in Israel. That's right. Can I take it If we can agree that this chandelier is a chandelier and it's positioned right here, if we can agree on that, then there should be no reason why any of us should miss the chandelier. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. If we agree that the chapter is here, then there's no reason why some of y'all should be over here looking for it. That's true. That's true. Right. That's right. Because mm -hmm. there's a universal principle that the chapter is right here. Amen. Right. Amen. So if you over there looking at the chapter here, that means something wrong with you. <laughs> well, now if we live in a world now, with something on a whole lot of folks, uh -huh. because the chandelier is over here, mm -hmm. a lot of folks say it's over there. That's right. And they say the folks that say the chandelier over here is crazy when they look at the chandelier. They say it's over there. That's right. Can I tell y'all something? Uh -huh. Truth. Steel back. That's right. Amen. Amen. Preach. Mm -hmm. Living time for folk manipulating facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. They think they think they can say it often enough and loud enough. Yes, yes. That a lie will be the truth. Uh huh, uh huh. That's true. But a lie will always be a lie. That's right. No matter who tells me. 
And no matter how many are telling all right. All right. Well, you know, 60% of Americans say so. What's up? 60% of Americans always sometimes wrong. That's right. Amen. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Truth is not determined by polls. Amen. Thank you. Yes, yes. Preach. Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. you know, most folks say, <laughs> and I'll be blunt with you, most folks. Are going to hell. Yeah, yeah. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. By wide is the road, broad is the way that leads to many travel on that road, but the road that leads to life, the path that leads to life, few even find it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You just got to quit trying to follow the crowd. All right, now. All right, all right. Mm. Quit trying to go your life out with most folk. Most folk, this is most folk are following somebody who's following somebody who's following somebody else who don't know where they're going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we're like getting better. Mm -hmm. But we ain't doing that. Hmm? Even after man sinned, this is the thing that got me. Even after Adam and Eve sinned, we read about how they were cast out of the garden. We read about how they were prevented from re entering the garden so that they would not have access to the tree of life. But there is no record of God ever revoking man's dominion over the earth. Amen. Amen. That, that, you're not going to read anywhere in the Bible where says God says, oh, you messed up. I'm taking you back. That's right. That's right. No, even though man has sinned, God didn't take it back to man. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you know this, priest? Well, the second passage, Psalm. Mm -hmm. Number eight. It's a statement written thousands of years removed from Genesis. Mm -hmm. But it reinforces that original statement. The Psalm of Righteousness, man is sinful. Uh -huh. Been sinning a long time. Blood came, stuff can happen. Psalm, he writes it. And he said, What is man? That you are mindful yes, yes. of him. Uh -huh. And the son of man that you care for him. Yes, yes, yes. Yet you have made him a little lower than the heavenly beings. And crowned him with glory mm. and honor. Right. Hey, you have given him dominion. Over the works of your hands, you have put all things under his feet. All sheep and oxen, also the beasts of the field, the birds of heaven, and the fish of the sea, and what's going to pass along the paths of the sea. In other words, it's the Genesis passage reworded all over again. As I was studying this passage in Psalm, I, I noticed the Hebrew word that is translated as man is a Hebrew word, enosh. It, it denotes frailty, mortality, vulnerability. The psalmist was amazed that despite how magnificent the heavens, the stars, the moons, and all the works made by the things of God, God will take note of mere mortal man. Wow. Psalm said of the Lord, you have made him. Your King James says, a little lower than the angel. That's what the King James and the Septuagint, the Septuagint in the Greek translation of the Hebrew Old Testament, that's what they say. But the Hebrew text says, you have made him a little lower than Elohim. That, that word Elohim in Hebrew is like 
our sheep in English. It's a plural form that can be used to denote plural or singular depending on the context. Yes. By the way, the term Elohim is translated as God or gods. Here the psalmist could be saying that God, Yahweh, the most high God, made man a little lower than himself. Or that God made man a little lower than God's or heavenly beings. But wherever it is, we suffer. All right. Thank you, Lord. We suffer. Oh, oh, yeah. And I say that because we live in a time now where, 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 where humans specialize and dehumanize Text goes on to say you have given him dominion over the works of your hand. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, also beasts of the field, the birds of the heaven, fish of the sea, whatsoever passes along the path. That's the word that is. That word dominion again. Psalms is basically restating the Genesis text. Here's the message. God created the world and everything in it. And then God created humanity and gave humanity dominion over everything God had made. Amen. That's right. Amen. Notice, 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 notice the sequence in Genesis. If you read Genesis carefully, it, it, it is a picture of God creating the world, everything in the world. The last thing God created is man. Uh -huh. And he places man not just in the world, but he places man in a specific place in the world, in a garden that God had made. Yeah, yeah. And what God wanted to do, listen now, what God wanted to do, because Eden, follow me, Eden was paradise. Yes. Eden was the perfect location. God placed man in Eden, and what God wanted man to do, God wanted man to make the rest of the world like Eden. All right, all right. All right. Yes. Wow. But when man sinned, yes. Eden became like the rest of the world. He has given to the children of men. Right. 
The New Year's translation puts it this way. The heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth he has given to mankind. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> oh, yes. The earth is the Lord. Who is there of all they that dwell in? But God has given dominion over the earth to man. All right, all right. So, we are in charge mm -hmm. of this earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, now listen. I just read this stuff. That's in the Bible. Yes. It's in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's in the Bible. <laughs> it's in the Bible. <laughs> you, you know the Bible. I just told you. Book. Yes. Chapter and verse. Yes. You yes, can sir. look. It's in the Bible. Yes, yes, yes sir. Yes, yes sir. Hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it not? It's in the Bible. <laughs> and you would think now, since it's in the Bible, <laughs> folk who preach the Bible would be talking about. See, the word dominion and domain are kingdom words. Oh, yes, yes, yes. They are words used to describe the territory and authority of a king. Mm -hmm. But because man has been and still is for the most part ignorant of the fact that he's a king, the world has gone to hell and Even traditional Christianity forgets or ignores the fact that when Adam and Eve sinned in the garden, they didn't lose heaven, they lost access to dominion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yeah. They were kings who, because of their rebellion, lost access to dominion over their domain. Uh -huh. As a consequence, what they were supposed to have dominion over began to have dominion over them. Over them. That's right, that's right, that's right. Today's ignorant kings mm. are still suffering the same fate. That's right. Look, look closely at what dominates people today. Mm. Wow. Think about the source of the various sentences of addiction. All right, all right. Drug abuse. All right. And addiction mm -hmm. is a worldwide problem. That's right. Where do drugs come from? Drugs come from plants. <laughs> Where do plants come from? Plants throughout of the earth. Uh -huh. All right. Drug abuse is a prime example of the earth having dominion over man instead of man having dominion over the earth. All right. All right. Same is true with alcohol, All right. tobacco, <laughs> and even money. Hmm? Uh, yes, yes, yes. 
So man has dominion over the earth. <laughs> the earth is, domin is having dominion over man. <laughs> now you think that since the revelation of man's kingship over the earth is in the Bible, you would think the religious establishment would be talking about it. But for the most part, most religious people know nothing about kings or kingdoms. Amen. All right. Hmm? All right. Oh, they know about. As long as they got a seat in the kingdom. Mm. Uh-huh. That ain't what he's talking about. <laughs> and in fact, in fact, traditional Christianity promotes the surrendering of man's dominion to the forces of evil. Nobody said it means. All right. That's what I said. <laughs> I said it. Uh -huh. Let me flip back to read it again. In fact, traditional Christianity promotes the surrendering of man's dominion to the forces of evil. Traditional Christianity, for the most part, has been. And it is even now ignorantly complicit mm. in surrendering the kingdom to the oh, right. preacher. preacher. Mm. 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 You have to give me Jesus. Y'all can't do anything else. You know what the Indians and Africans say? The Africans and the Indians said that before the white missionaries came, they had the land, and the white missionaries had Jesus. And when the white missionaries left, they had Jesus, but the white missionaries had the land. But the way it's supposed to be, it's <laughs> supposed to have Jesus and the land. We forget. We learn. But we don't know 
with me. That prayer, thy kingdom will come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Right. Remarkable as it might sound, Jesus never told us to pray that we might go to heaven. Can I tell y'all something? Listen, you ain't got to worry about going to heaven. If you live right, All right. All right. heaven will take care of you. See, you got to, you got to get to where you're going uh -huh. before you get there. That's right. That's right. Uh, All right. All right. All right. Y'all miss that? You got to get to where you're going before you get there. That's right. See, you've been focused on getting there, but you ain't been focused on getting to there. That's right. That's right. See, part of the journey, the journey. You know, when I was a kid, my dad, my mom and dad, my dad and I would pick up trucks. We go out to the country sometimes, see my aunt, my aunt, uncle in the country. And uh, uh, most of the time, we had a good time when we got there, but most of the time, the joy was in the journey. Oh, the joy was in, yeah. Us sitting on the back of my dad's pickup truck, claiming the car, that's my car, that's my car. Then <laughs> <laughs> we in. I had to have a big back then. <laughs> What I'm trying to tell you, don't worry about going to heaven. You need to learn how to enjoy and make good of the journey. Amen, amen. Yes, uh, yes. He taught us to pray for God's kingdom to come. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. The kingdom comes and gives prayer. Yeah. Whenever and wherever God's will is done on earth as it is in heaven. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, but even if kings want to escape earth to go to heaven, but kings who know who they are mm. are busy with the aid of the Spirit all right, all right. transforming earth yeah. to be like heaven. Kings who know the king yeah. understand the meaning of on earth yeah. as it is in heaven. Uh -huh. Well, how do we do that? Uh -huh. uh, we follow the example of the one who taught us to pray for the kingdom to come. All right. All right. In, in Matthew 4 17, the Bible says from that time. Jesus began to preach, saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Uh, uh. Uh, we preach heaven, uh, but Jesus preached the kingdom of heaven. All right. Jesus provided uh, the blueprint uh. of how you and I are supposed to live as kings yes. on this earth. Thank you, Lord. Jesus came to fix up. What Adam messed up. up. Yes, sir. Jesus came to reintroduce ignorant kings to the kingdom. Yeah. All right. And kings, ignorant kings to themselves. All right, all right. From Jesus, yeah. we regain the dominion that Adam lost. Uh -huh. uh, you see, biblical salvation is not just about a place in the kingdom. But biblical salvation is about the kingdom in the place. <laughs> the kingdom of holiness in the place of sickness and disease. Yeah. The kingdom of freedom yeah. in places of divine dynasty and slavery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kingdom of peace yeah. in the places of animosity and monastery and war. Yeah. The kingdom of faith and hope in the place of depression and despair. I don't know how you feel about them, but since I discovered that I am a king, I am going to King School. In King School, you learn how to walk like a king.
eat with kings. Read my mind like you're kings. Have folks folk standing for praying for blessings. Folks coming up with blessing plans all over the land and country. Books are being written on how to be blessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Alright, you can read your Bible. Amen. The Bible says you already blessed. That's the good news. Yes, yeah. I, I don't know that. But, but this, I'm going to say this in the truth. I, I, I feel, I feel, I feel, I'm, I'm, I'm a whole lot more relaxed. Brother Brown. I, I'm a whole lot more relaxed if I know I got something uh -huh. than I would be if I got a gift. Yeah, yeah. See, like, I got a gift. I'm gonna get it, but if, I, right. if I know I already got it, I can relax. Yeah. But if I'm not gonna get it, my promise is to get to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right. And that's that's why. The door's open, the door's open. Someone who likes to come.